Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing well. It looks like this month is just going to be jam-packed with exciting rumors and leaks surrounding next generation graphics cards, particularly to Nvidia as they're most definitely going to be releasing new graphics cards before their competition, the AMD Radeon Technologies Group. Basically, well almost every day now, this month I've been waking up in the mornings and finding some more news which gets surfaced pertaining to the RTX 30 series now. And well I guess it's not surprising since even Nvidia's own marketing is in full swing now as well so it's likely that it'll just keep on coming. But speaking of Nvidia's marketing, the reason why I wanted to make this video was to follow up on a topic which I covered in my previous video in addition to sharing some new leaks and rumors and doing a dis discussion about them. So in my previous video I talked about how Nvidia's official GeForce Twitter account posted a teaser which said hashtag ultimate countdown and a small video which resembles a star going supernova. Although at the time they never put any other information and more importantly there wasn't even a countdown. However the following day they did put up a countdown which states it's a countdown for a special GeForce event which will be hosted by Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang which will take place on the 1st of September 2020. So I just wanted to follow up on that as I know there were a lot of people at the time who were confused as to what was really going on. Furthermore, Nvidia's marketing team on Twitter have started to post their favorite memories from the past year which involves things like popular video games titles, revolutionary new hardware and software technologies. Each day will be a brand new year in succession until they reach 2019 on August 31st. So if you're not doing so, definitely check out their Twitter page as they've been posting some interesting stuff and it'll be a nice stroll down memory lane, especially for the older folk out there. I actually really like this marketing campaign from Nvidia as it's not only a fun way to generate hype, but it's also really effective as well. Keep in mind with the current global health crisis, there's been a lot of in-person conferences and public events which have been cancelled so as to mitigate the health risks and so on. In these challenging times, they couldn't just create a public event for everyone to attend like how they've done in the past. However, they still need to find a way to promote and get everyone hyped on the bandwagon. And this is creative and, and quite genius as well, if you ask me, because they know where to reach most of, their, most of their audience. And with a lot of people at home these days working from home on a computer, they'll be more active on social media sites. Now, moving on, and let's get into our first rumor. And this one is coming from Rogame, who is a known PC hardware leaker and also runs their own site called Hardware Leaks. I'll leave links down below so you guys can check all these leaks out for yourselves. Now this is a pretty short leak, but here they talk about the top enthusiast GeForce Ampere card based on GA102, which will either be the 3090 or 3080 Ti. One quick I just want to say is that I've been dreading the time since the 3090 naming scheme rumor popped up because I've been having to use 3080 Ti or 3090 so interchangeably, but as you'll see later on in this video, that'll change. Now this leak pertains to clock speeds of the upcoming GPU and here they state that the card has a base clock of 1410 MHz and a boost clock of 1740 MHz. They also mentioned that compared to the Titan RTX, which is what they're using as like a baseline reference, and comparing it to a top tier graphics card from the previous gen, we're looking at a 60 MHz improvement for the base and a 30 MHz regression in regards to boost. There also was another GA102 variant, and this variant has a base of 1485 MHz, which is slightly higher than the other sample and has the same boost clock. When compared to a 2080 Ti, this is a 135 MHz increase in regards to the base and 195 MHz increase over the boost. Now keep in mind though that these are just baseline specs he's comparing to the Nvidia reference models. The Founder Edition cards and cards from board partners with custom models like the Asus Strix or MSI Trio X, for example, advertise their cards with higher clock speeds. Along with that, Pascal and Turing GPUs can easily clock up much higher on their own depending on temps and power delivery. At stock, for example, my EVGA 2080 would boost around 1950 MHz, and with it underwater, it is sitting stable at 2100 MHz, which is significantly higher than what was advertised. For the red reference 2080 that is. Another important thing to note here is that we're also not told if these are early engineering samples or if this is silicon quality what, that we can expect from retail samples. We also did have that leak a while back from Rogame as well where there were time spy scores data mined which 
were from an unnamed Ampere card, and that card had a boost clock of around 1935 MHz. Now, when I see these leaks which contain figures of the base and boost clocks that the next-gen cards will supposedly have, it makes me want to believe that we won't really see any large leap with respect to frequency from Ampere. Some people were speculating that the RTX 30 series would push 2300 or 2500 MHz, but I feel like the clock speeds will be more closely in line with what we've seen from Turing, perhaps maybe a 100 MHz bump. Um, and I think this goes back to the rumor where Nvidia will be using Samsung's 8 nanometer process to fab these GPUs, which really is a inferior uh, process compared to TSMC's 7 nanometer plus. And that process, unfortunately, does not really scale well with frequency. But we'll find out more once we get specific specifications officially. This next leak comes from video cards who are sourcing a user by the name of Yukians who has leaked some pictures of what is allegedly the RTX 3090. Before we had some coolers leaked and now we finally have the PCB which has been leaked. And when we take a closer look at the PCB, this is actually the backside of the graphics card. One of the things I'll point out is that from the picture we can see that this RTX 3090 takes three 8-pin power connectors. Now this could be an engineering sample with the addition for one extra power connector and retail models might only have two. However, this could be indicative of higher power draw from these next-gen GPUs. If we'll be seeing that the 3090 will ship with those three 8-pin power connectors, then those rumors of the 3090 having a whopping 350 watt TDP were probably true. This also confirms that we might not be seeing that rumored 12-pin power connector and if you ask me my, my opinion on it, then I say I'm glad because if Nvidia does release these cards and the top enthusiast models have this 12-pin power connector that hasn't been seen before, hasn't been included with any power supplies before, then, you know, it just opens up a whole can of worms in regards to whether or not your power supply is adequate or not and compatibility issues. Apart from that, here on the backside, as video cards have neatly labeled, there were 12 memory modules. One of them is hidden, as I'm assuming the sources didn't want themselves to be compromised here, which I guess is fair. But if this is the backside of the video card, which has 12, and we can presume that there might be 12 more on the front, then it would indicate the possibility of the 3090 having 24 gigabytes of VRAM. If this is really a picture of the 3090 or 3080 Ti, then these leaks coincide with the one I previously talked about in my previous video, which was shared by WCCF Tech, who stated that the card would have a whopping 24 gigabyte memory buffer. This is quite the leap from the previous generation, as previously the top enthusiast graphics cards from the Turing lineup had only 11 gigabytes of VRAM. I feel like this is going to be one of the things that will be a major incentives Nvidia will use to make people upgrade their GPUs if you compare Turing to Pascal. The cards compared to the predecessors never really got any upgrades in the memory department. The 2080 Ti had 11 gigabytes, so did the 1080 Ti. And the 2080, which had 8 gigabytes, also just like the 1080 had 8 gigabytes. Therefore, compared to last gen, we're going to be seeing some massive upgrades here, and I'm wondering what could have prompted Nvidia into going this route. As many were speculating that perhaps we could see the 3080 Ti or 3090, you know, the, the cut down but not super cut down GA102 chip, have 16 gigabytes of VRAM with the 3080 having 12. And, you know, I probably would have been okay with that, and I'm sure others wouldn't have been as well. But instead, we're going to be seeing some enormous memory buffer upgrades, which don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining and I more than welcome it. But we haven't really seen many games tax the GPU memory this much, even at 4K that is. But perhaps Nvidia is trying to advertise these cards as being future proof in such a sense. As we know, consoles are pushing for the 4K resolution goal and therefore we'll start to see it become more and more mainstream. But this is more of a topic for another video. While we're on the topic of memory though, let's move on to the next leak, and this is a confirmed leak as well, as this comes from none other than Micron, who are one of the largest memory manufacturers in the world, and in their recent technologies brief, they have actually confirmed the existence of the RTX 3090 SKU, as it is listed on their chart with specifications. They also state the following in the document. Micron GDDR6X is the world's fastest graphics memory, delivering legendary performance to help drive ray tracing, shadow mapping, and silky smooth animation for immersive PC gaming experience. In the summer of 2020, Micron announced the next evolution of Ultra Bandwidth Solutions in GDDR6X, working closely with Nvidia on their Ampere generation of graphics cards, 
Micron's 8 gigabit GDDR6X will deliver up to 21 gigabits per second data rate per pin in 2020. At 21 gigabits per second, a graphics card with 12 pieces of GDDR6X will be able to break the 1 terabyte per second of system bandwidth barrier. Micron's roadmap also highlights the potential for 16 gigabit GDDR6X in 2021, with the ability to reach up to 24 gigabits per second. GDDR6X is powered by a revolutionary new PAM4 modulation technology for ultra bandwidth solutions. PAM4 has the potential to drive even more improvements in data rate. So, definitely a lot of exciting stuff, and they are talking about quite the advancements made over the previous GDDR6 memory modules. And when we circle back to the statement they made in regards to possibly having these 16 gigabyte GDDR6X modules with the ability to reach 24 gigabits per second, I think this kind of goes back to the whole thing where some people were speculating that the following year Nvidia might even refresh the Ampere cards with the super lineup like how they did with Turing, and they'll actually be on the in more superior TSMC 7 nanometer plus EUV node. And along with that, they'll get these faster memory modules. So it's a possibility, but who knows? So what this confirms for us is that the next gen graphics cards will be called the RTX 30 series. These cards will be using new GDDR GDDR6X modules. And that fast memory module chips will provide up to one terabyte per second bandwidth thanks to them running at 21 gigabits per second. The document since then being published has uh, been deleted, and as I'm pretty sure Micron wasn't supposed to post it, which is kind of funny, but you know, with the internet, nothing really ever gets deleted. Now, one piece of conflicting information that they have in their chart is that they state that RTX 3090 will come with only 12 gigabytes of memory. This is considerably lower than those other rumors we've been hearing with the RTX 3090, which will have, you know, a whopping 24 gigabyte memory buffer, and that even cards like 3080, which is a tier lower, will come with 20 gigabytes, which is obviously significantly higher than that 12 gigabyte mark. It is quite an intriguing situation, and perhaps maybe Micron were just given earlier information to deal with, and then the information that we're seeing now from these uh, leakers with the 12 with the 24 gigabyte memory leaks is probably what could be more up to date and you know could be sourced from guys like Adam Board Partners and so on. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. We're less than half a month away from an announcement. So that'll do it for this video. Like I said, keep your eyes peeled. The next generation cards are just going to be quite, quite the leap from what I can tell. So definitely be on the lookout. We'll probably be, be, probably be hearing some more information, leaks and rumors coming out pertaining to these next gen graphics cards. I'll of course be doing my best to cover them as I've done so in the past and continue to give my thoughts on it as I'm just as excited as you guys are. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.